Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is called uh, Compare and Order Fractions. So uh, don't forget, all your lessons can be found at uh, mrmathblog.com. And this is lesson 9-5 in, in our textbook. So our essential question is, how can we can compare and order fractions? All right, we have a few of them here. So here's one. Sandra, John, and Jaden walk to school. Sandra walks three-fourths of a mile. John walks three-eighths of a mile. And Jaden walks three-sixths mile. Compare... Uh, and order the distances they walk from least to greatest. Okay, least means the smallest, and greatest means the biggest. You probably knew that already. Okay, so, so let's circle the fractions that we need to use. Well, that's pretty easy to see. And then it says underline the sentence that tells us what we need to do. Okay, well, there's our three fractions, and we're going to compare and order these distances they walk from least to greatest. Okay, so here we go. We're going to order the fractions that have the same numerator. Did you guys notice that? I forgot to mention that. This has a 3 in the top, this has a 3 in the top, this has a 3 in the top. So they all have the same numerator right here. And we've done this before. We're just doing it with three different fractions. So we can order the fractions by reasoning about the size of the units. Okay, so the size of the units are um, the denominators. All right, so there's our fractions again, 3 fourths. 3 eighths and 3 six right here. So since all the numerators are the same, we're going to use fraction strips right here. So here's fraction strips. Here's a fraction strip, one whole unit divided up into four. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here's a one whole unit divided up into eighth. So that'll represent our three eighths right here. And then here's one, uh, one whole unit. These are all the same whole unit. This one's divided up into six, six size pieces. So remember that the more pieces a whole is divided into, the smaller the pieces. And the fewer the pieces a whole is divided into, the larger they are. So see, when we divided it up into eight equal pieces, this this is a smaller piece than that when we only divided it up into four equal pieces right here. Okay, so that's what that means down there. So we talked about that in the uh, prior lessons before this. So let's go ahead and shade one unit fraction for each fraction strip. Okay, so there we go. We shaded the one-fourth, the one-eighth, and the one-sixth. And which one is the longest? Okay, well, Definitely, this fourth goes out further than each one of them, you guys. So it goes out further than the, even the sixth. And the eighth is the shortest right here. So we'll go ahead and put uh, um, uh, the one-fourth and the one-eighth right there. So the one-eighth is the shortest and the one-fourth is the longest. So let's shade one more unit fraction strip for each fraction. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So now we have two of them shaded. So here's two-fourths, here's two-eighths, and here's two-sixths right here. Are the shaded fourths still the longest? Yep, they go out the farthest. And are the shaded eighths still the shortest? Definitely. So those are both yeses on those. Okay, so let's continue shading the fraction strip so that three unit fractions are shaded for each strip. Okay, so there we go. So there's three fourths right there. Here's three eighths right here. And then here's three sixths right here. And that's what we are going to compare. Okay, so um, are the shaded four still the longest? Yep. Are the shaded eight still the shortest? Yep. So those are both yes questions. All right, let's um, answer some questions here. So three fourths mile is the longest distance. Can you see that? Three eighths mile is the shortest distance right there. Okay. And then three six mile is the one that's in between the shortest and the longest. So it's it's in between these two. So three uh, six mile is between. Uh, the other distances right here. Okay, so the distances in order from least to greatest are, okay, so the least one is this one right here, the 3 eighths right here, and then we put the one in between, which is this 3 six right here, and then finally, uh, 3 fourths is the longest one right there. All right, okay, try this. Um, we're going to order 2 six, 2 thirds, and 2 fourths from uh, greatest to least. Okay, now this time it says from greatest to least. So greatest means the biggest and least means the smallest. So we're going to do the biggest one first. All right, so we're going to order the, the fractions 2 six, 2 thirds, and 2 fourths by thinking about the lengths of, of each unit fraction strip. So then we're going to label the fractions uh, the shortest, uh, the one that's in between, and which one's the longest right here. Remember that the, uh, the more pieces a whole is divided into, the smaller the pieces. So, so that means, you guys, the bigger the denominator, then the smaller the pieces right here. So this one is the biggest denominator, so this is the smallest piece. This one is the smallest denominator, so that one's going to be the biggest piece. All right, so they give us this table right here, and they want us to list uh, the unit fractions. Okay, so with 2 6, 
Unit fraction just means put a 1 on top. So this is going to be 1 sixth. This is going to be 1 third. This is going to be 1 fourth. A unit fraction is, what's your unit fractions of these right here? So there's that right there. And then so uh, remember this down here, the more uh, the pieces a whole is divided into, the smaller the pieces. So that just means that the bigger the denominator, uh, the smaller the piece. So the smaller the denominator, the bigger the piece. So what that's going to tell us is, is this one is going to be the shortest length and this one is going to be the longest length. So that means this 2 6 is the shortest and this uh, 2 thirds is going to be the longest right here. Okay, so um, uh, when ordering three fractions, what do we know about the third fraction when we know which fraction is the shortest and which fraction is the longest? Okay, well, if this one is the, the longest fraction, actually this one's the longest fraction, and this one's the shortest fraction, this one has to be in between the other two fractions because it's in the middle length right there, so it's in between right there. All right, so the order from greatest to least, remember they want the biggest number one first, so this two-thirds is the longest length, and then uh, the one that goes in between is the two-fourths, so that goes in between right there, so let's do that. So the two-thirds is the longest, the two-fourths is the, the in-between, and finally the, the two-sixths is the shortest. Remember, they wanted us to do from greatest to least. Okay. Let's try this uh, ordering fractions that have the same denominator this time. So look at these fractions. They all have the same 8 denominator. And we're going to shade fraction strips to order 5 eighths, 8 eighths, and 3 eighths. And this says from least to greatest. Okay. So here's fraction strips. And then so they're all in eighths. So these are all cut. This whole unit is cut up into 8 equal pieces. On this one, we're going to shade 5 eighths of them. Okay. And then on the next one, we're going to shade 8 eighths. And then on finally, on the third, we're going to shade 3 eighths. Well, this makes it very easy to see which one's the shortest, which one's the longest, and which one's in between. Okay? So when the denominators are the same, the size of the pieces are the same. Aren't these size, isn't this size of the piece the same as that size right there? Is that size right here? Okay, so they're the same. So thinking about the number of pieces, uh, think about the number of pieces to compare the order uh, and order these fractions, okay? So the number of pieces are the top numbers right here because they all are in terms of eights right here, okay? So which one's the shortest? Okay, so def definitely this one's the shortest, so three eights is the shortest right there, okay? Which one's the longest right here? Well, definitely this one is the longest, so eight eights is the longest right there. And that means the third one that has to be in between the other two, okay? Let's move that up right there. All right, so let's order from least to greatest. Okay, so the least is this 3 eighths right there, and the one that's in between is the one on top right here. It's the 5 eighths right there, and the 8 eighths is the biggest of the three. Okay, hey, if you get a moment, you guys, can you click like, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Take care.